G'day guys, as I'm sure most of you are already aware, we've been given some information about the upcoming Wolfgang rework as well as the ability now to test it out for ourselves, and I have done just that. This morning I hopped on, had a bit of a look to see what's new, what's changed, how the new Wolfgang compares to the old one. I want to give you guys all of the information first and then I'll give you my opinion after of what I think of the rework. Obviously keep in mind this is a beta build and is subject to changes in the future which I will list in a pinned comment if necessary. So to begin, the most obvious change is the addition of the new Might meter. Wolfgang no longer becomes mighty by eating food, it is now tied directly to this meter. You become mighty at 75% and wimpy at 25% and instead of it being a sliding scale of damage dealt, you now do a consistent amount of damage for each form. So when you're mighty, you're doing exactly double damage, whether that be 75 mightiness or 100. Hunger is still important though, and the hungrier you are, the more your mightiness drains. With a full belly, you will lose 33 mightiness per day, but if you're starving, it becomes more like 400 per day. You'll also notice both hunger and health now have a maximum of 200, which is a pretty significant drop from the previous maximum of 300. Wolfgang enters the constant with the brand new dumbbell item, which you can use to increase your mightiness, and there are three different types of these. The basic one is pretty damn useless. It takes ages for the meter to increase at all, and it breaks incredibly quickly. It is cheap to craft, but honestly, I wouldn't bother. You can use these dumbbells as weapons as well, and the basic one does less damage than a spear. Attacking also uses 10 times as much durability. You can throw them if you're currently mighty, which could be an okay way of killing birds and things. It's worth noting that you can't throw unless you're mighty, but you also can't melee when you are mighty. Not that you would want to with this weapon anyway. Moving on to the golden dumbbell. This one is basically twice as good as the regular one, and seeing that it's not that expensive to craft, it should be your first option. Until that is, you can craft the gem bell, and just, just use this one. For reference, the golden dumbbell does 40 damage, and the gem bell does 59, which is basically a fresh hand bat. The dumbbells are meant to be a way of maintaining your mightiness on the fly. You're not really supposed to be using them exclusively if you want to build a lot of mightiness quickly, for that you're going to want to build a mighty gym. Working out on this gym is the fastest way to earn mightiness. All you need are two weights, and it even comes preloaded with a few sacks of potatoes to get you going. You can remove these if you want and replace them with any heavy object, some providing more of a benefit than others. I believe boss statues are the best, with giant crops also being pretty high up there. The gym minigame is pretty simple, you click or press space when the circle is in golden area and depending on what you have loaded, this may be smaller or there may be multiple. If you miss, you get a little bit less mightiness and if you don't hit the bar at all, you do a bit of a fumble before being able to continue. Working out drains a bit of your hunger as well, but it normally doesn't last long enough to make a very significant difference unless you're almost at starving beforehand. And that's pretty much it for the gym and the dumbbells. There are a few other changes to Wolfgang though. He no longer has a speed boost when mighty. This is a pretty big one, probably the most contentious change of the rework. He does however have the ability to carry heavy objects with no penalty when mighty, and his mightiness doesn't decrease when doing so. Heavy items like the marble suit and the piggyback also confer no penalty when Wolfgang is mighty. He can also row a fair bit faster when mighty. Wolfgang loses more sanity from the dark and nightmare creatures now. However, this is reduced somewhat when in the company of other players. When in wimpy form, Wolfgang is also more susceptible to freezing and overheating. He also takes more damage. And this is something that's not balanced out by the mighty form either. He doesn't take less damage in mighty form, but he does freeze and overheat slower. And when it comes to my opinions of the rework in general, I do believe Wolfgang is more balanced as a character than he was before. The changes to the mightiness mechanic are something that I will no doubt get used to in time. I think being able to deal double damage more consistently is pretty nice, I have to admit. I like that change. 
I have a few concerns about how that would play out in longer fights, such as against Toadstool, because you can't really just pause the fight to work out in the same way that you can just down a few potatoes in two seconds and be right back in the thick of things beforehand. Overall, I'm relatively indifferent with that change as far as utility goes. You get more consistent damage. In return, you have to do this kind of tedious mini game every now and then. Losing the speed boost is pretty rough though. You guys know me, I come from a WX background. Speed is pretty important to me, and it's one of the main reasons why Wolfgang was used so much in the early game and to fight early bosses. If you want a character just to deal massive damage, you've got Wanda there as an option now, and there's not much reason anymore to play Wolfgang ahead of Wanda. Yes, the health pool is still a factor, Funnily enough, this was also reduced significantly in the rework. Wanda can also carry statues to their destinations instantly by using Rift Watches, which kind of negates Wolfgang's new perk of moving them at walking speed. But I'm not really here to say that Wanda is better than Wolfgang or vice versa because some characters are just better than others. And that's okay, that's not the point I'm trying to make here. Not every character needs to be exactly on the same level. I just feel that balancing Wolfgang came at the cost of making the things he was good at worse. He was the tank, now he has less health. He was faster, now that's gone. He did extra damage, now you have to go through a mini game to stay big instead of just eating food. His wimpy form is much, much worse than before as well. He cops it from basically everything. Even the elements will give you pain as, as wimpy Wolfgang. Yes, I can make my peace with some of the changes, but I, I do think that this takes Wolfie Boy from being one of the top tier upper echelon characters to just above average. I will, however, play more of the character. There may be some changes to come down the road and I might change my mind. I may even make another video if enough changes to warrant doing so. I really want to like this rework, guys. I really do. Wolfgang is easily one of my favorite characters pre-rework. So let me know in the comments why I'm wrong here, please. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.